Good morning, everyone. Well, it's Dr. Kush here on this Saturday morning um, for another morning study with Earl Knighton's Gale's Essence of Success. Um, today's is called The Cure for, for Procrastination. A person carrying a heavy weight is all right as long as he keeps moving. The minute he stops, puts the weight on the ground, and sits down to rest, the weight seems to become heavier, the distance to be traveled greater, and the work just that much more pl- unpleasant. Have you ever noticed that the longer you look at something you should be doing, the more difficult it seems to appear? That the longer you put off something you should do, the more difficult it is to get started? A good deal of frustration and unhappiness could be avoided if people would just do what they know they should do. The great newspaper editor, Arthur Brisbane, once wrote, Don't exaggerate your own importance, your own size, or your own miseries. You are an ant in a human anthill. Be a working ant, not a ridiculous insect pitying itself. Strong language, maybe, but there's a lot of sense in it. A person carrying a heavy weight is all right as long as he keeps moving. The minute he stops, puts the weight on the ground, and sits down to rest, the weight seems to become heavier, the distance to be traveled greater, and the work just that much more unpleasant. Sometimes it must seem to everyone that things have, have piled up so high there's no way of digging out. But there is. Pick the thing that's most important to do and simply begin doing it. Just by digging in, you'll feel better, and you'll find that it's not nearly as bad as you thought it would be. Keep at it. And before long, that pile of things to do that seemed to be seemed so overwhelming is behind you, finished. What overwhelms us is not the work itself. It's thinking how hard it's going to be. It's seeing it get larger every day. It's putting it off and hoping that somehow, through some miracle, it will disappear. The Chinese have a saying that a journey of a thousand miles begins with but a single step. And that step accomplishes two things. First, it automatically shortens the distance we will have have to travel. And second, and just as important, it makes us feel better, more hopeful. It strengthens our faith. And if a person will just keep putting one foot in front of the other, he will be taken into new and exciting places, see new and interesting things, and think thoughts that never would have come to him if he'd remained at the starting point. And then the journey is finished. He wonders why, how or why he could have ever sat so long and worried and stewed about the time and trouble it would involve to do what he knew he should do. If you'll think back, you'll remember that you've always been happiest, most contented after having finished a difficult project or faced up to a responsibility you were worried about. It's never as bad as you think it's going to be, and the joy that will come with its accomplishment makes it more than worthwhile. Work never killed anyone. It's worry that does the damage, and the worry would disappear if we just settle down and do the work. As Calvin Coolidge put put it, all growth depends upon activity. There is no development physically or intellectually without effort, and effort means work. Work is not a curse, it is the prerogative of intelligence, the only means to manhood, and the measure of civilization. So, another great, great passage from Earl. And a bunch of little pearls in there. Um, I like when he talked about how what overwhelms us is not the work itself, it's thinking how hard it's going to be. You know, it never really is that hard to do anything, but thinking how difficult it's going to be is just keeps building up that, that worry, the doubt, um, you know, starts to put the worst case scenario on the, on the answer, which causes the anxiety. And that's simply, you know, all fictitious and a, and a, you know, 
a imagined reality. It's not even the truth. After you get the thing done, we always feel that much better. The reason you feel better when you complete something is because of that dopamine dump we get. You know, whenever there's a, a victory or success or completion, you do get a dopamine dump and that's the thing that keeps you moving to the next one. So, you know, what Earl says is make a list of your your uh, your to-dos and just start um, at the most important and start chipping away at it. The other thing I liked how he talked about is the faith. Um, you know, I love that it strengthens faith. You know, as soon as you take that first step, as he was say, using in the um, ancient Chinese proverb, um, that it automatically shortens the distance to the end result. So just by starting, you do that. Um, and then the other thing it does. Um, it makes you feel better, hopeful, and it strengthens our faith. So just by continuing to do the little steps, right, you begin to build the faith that completion is going to happen, success is at the end. Um, work never killed anyone. It's worry that does the damage. Um, yeah, the work has never, never, you know, killed anyone. It's never the hard part, it's, you know, the worry that we create that increases our stress. Um, and as you'll learn a little later today, um, I'm going to talk more about this. Stress is the thing that disintegrates the body through the hormonal response and the physical responses to that. So today was a great little reading. Um, again, you know, comment in the comment section, say hi, ask questions. Um, and, uh, I'll be here tomorrow morning, uh, with another reading. Um, later today, we'll talk a little bit about, um, a couple more, uh, cool little topics, uh, how, you know, your health is like investing money. And we're going to talk about the stress response and stress in health as well. So everyone have a great Saturday and hope to see you a little later. Talk to you soon. This is Garrett. Bye.